Hey, so how come you're here? Hi, I'm uh, Mike Jensen. Uh -huh. I'm here to support um, Occupy Seattle. Uh, we're here in solidarity with Occupy New York. Uh -huh. um, and uh, it, it's just a giant kind of statement that, uh, on, on one hand, it's a giant statement that our political system is not being controlled by us. Our political system is bought and sold. Uh, the highest bidder owns your congressman. There are very few people in Congress uh, that are not owned right now. Um, props to uh, Bernie Sanders. Uh, props to Ron Wyden, who has saved the internet about five times in the last year. He's a, I believe he's a senator from Oregon. Uh, there's been COICA, all these random bills uh, that have tried to come through Congress to basically shut down the internet to set up like a great firewall like they have in China. Um, this is on five continents, by the way, now, this occupation. There's an Occupy Russia. There's an Occupy Hong Kong. Uh, this is in almost every major city. If there's not one near you, don't just watch the stuff on, that's happening in New York. Look for Occupy in your city name. Look for it on Twitter first. Look for it on Facebook. Look for a .org or a .com. Do a Google search. Do, do a Bing search. Don't use just one search engine. Look everywhere you can. Um, this is this is big. Okay. Uh, what is that? So this is Occupy Seattle again. again. Um, and we're not just here in uh, solidarity with New York. Uh, we're here to make our own statements and be our own piece of the conversation. What I would really like to see out of this, and what was really cool tonight, people are already doing it because people are smart, you know, um, is just to have a global communication network between all of the Occupies. It shouldn't be just on the internet, just on phones, or just through the mail. I mean, the, we want to prioritize the fast communications first, but just to make sure things aren't co-opted, we should be using as many different platforms as we possibly can. Okay. Um, just to get the words out. Uh, New York called us tonight and gave us props. It, it was it was awesome because those those people in New York are freaking heroes. It's it's amazing. What do you hope to get out of this? Uh, I hope to get money out of politics at the very least. I think that there are a million different problems wrong with the system right now. Not just the U.S. system, but with every government system in the world, there's going to be a few problems. I, I think that there are a lot more now uh, than there need to be. And I, I hope that we just start pulling at the threads of that fabric and that it starts to unravel. That, you know, we get accountability in the system so that we can see, oh, by the way, here's, here's 10 other problems that nobody knew about, you know, um, and I, that, that's what I really want to see is just global reform. Uh, props to Bradley Manning also, who leaked those documents in hopes of achieving global reform. It, he is not responsible completely or entirely for Arab Spring, I would never say that, um, but those documents have definitely been a part of the Arab Spring and the Occupy Wall Street, I believe, uh, has definite Arab Spring roots. I believe that this is in solidarity with Arab Spring. Um, currently, um, all this is trying to still be nonviolent. Like, there's no need to bring extra violence, right? Like, that that's not the problem. Uh, this, this needs to grow bigger. There needs to be serious talks. We need to be taken seriously. Uh, we need to finalize what our complete demands are, just in solidarity with everyone. Uh, not just New York, find out what their demands are, but all of the occupations find out uh, what their global and what their local demands are, uh, and be recognized in every place. It, this is a geographical union of places, right? It's not just a union of people. It's everyone is in solidarity with each other. We want to see everyone's conditions improve. Okay.